All right, let's take this and turn it into this. Hi everyone, I'm gonna be showing you how I do my dance makeup. This is just the way that I like to do it and I've been doing it for so many years now. Um, it's completely sweat proof, cry proof, pretty much everything proof. And I think the longest I've had it on probably like 14 hours and I was still looking just like I did uh, when I did my makeup. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, and right now I have nothing on my face other than some moisturizer. I always like to use a moisturizer with silicones in it just because it acts like a primer and it helps your makeup stay on your face longer. I always like to wear a button down or a robe just to make sure that you know once you finish your makeup you're not like you know, doing some sort of acrobatics to try to change into your costume. First, I'm going to start off with the pan stick. Um, this is in the shade 25, I think. It really just acts like as a primer again, so primer part two. So I'm just going to take this and just draw all over my face. This is going to act as like the base, so you really want to pack this on. And the more you pack this on, the longer your makeup will stay. So, this is what it should look like. Now I'll go in with a dry sponge. This I got in India. Um, they are really, really, really good. And they're, they're like super soft and they dry really quickly, which is really important because you want to wash these as much as possible. So I'll go in with a dry sponge and then just start blending everything out and like putting product everywhere. Don't use a brush for this um, because you're just going to like smear the product. You're just going to take off the product, but instead you want to like blend it all out and create like a nice base. And don't use those plastic sponges that you get at the drugstore. They'll just like take off the product again. So use like a dry sponge. If you don't have one of these from India, you can um, either use a Real Technique sponge, the one that looks orange, or you can use a beauty blender. Now I'm gonna wet my sponge under water, get it completely drenched, and then like squeeze all the water out. I'm gonna go in with the pancake in number 26. And I'm just gonna like take a lot of product. I'm just gonna like swirl it around so there's like a lot of product on the sponge. And then I'm just gonna paint, literally paint your face. It's almost like you're painting a wall with like, you know, the big roller thingy, but you're painting your face instead. So take as much product as you can and just paint all over your face. And no, I don't claim that any of this is good for your skin, but, you know, we do what we gotta do, right? So now I have like layer one on, and I'm just gonna wait for it to dry a little bit um, because it is still wet. So when it's wet, it's easier to spread around, and when it's dried, it's easier to blend. So wait for it to dry a little bit, I'm gonna wet my sponge again, and then I'm gonna go in with the second layer. The number of layers depends on how, how long your performance is. So usually I always like to do two layers as a as kind of like an always situation, always do two layers. Um, if your program is longer than maybe like three, four hours, and you're gonna be on stage for like three, four hours, I would say go in with a third layer. I need longer than that and you need it to last all day, go in with the fourth layer. So definitely, definitely pack it on the longer your performances are. Again, wait for it to dry. Now that I look like a ghost, I'm gonna add a little bit of color back into my face. I'm gonna take my finger and put it in the water and then I'm gonna go in with the dark shade and then I'm gonna go straight down the bridge of my nose to create, to like cut my nose, <laughs> make it look sharper. And then I'm gonna do the same and go down my jawline underneath to create like a shadow effect. I'm gonna wait for it to dry. 
So don't forget, this is dance makeup, so everything has to look really exaggerated. So don't worry if the lines are like seeming extra, extra harsh. It's just that you're gonna need that kind of definition to show up on stage. Now I'm going to go back in with another finger, dip it in the water, go back into my original pancake and draw a line right down. This is gonna act as like a highlight um, to bring the sharpness of your nose more forward. And yes, this is supposed to look really harsh. Now I'm gonna go in with some translucent powder, same sponge, it's still a little bit wet, which means it'll pick up more powder and it'll help lock it in place, lock everything in place. So wherever I don't have the contour lines, I'm just going to pack on a lot of powder. Now we're just gonna let everything just sort of sit on my face while we do the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Always use a brown pencil for your eyebrows. Using black is a little bit too harsh. I used to use black and I thought it just looked, it made me look more like a demon. So I was like, okay, I need to, let's use brown instead. So brown will show up just as much as black on stage and it'll look so much more natural. So fill in your eyebrows. All right, so now I'm gonna make everything look clean because um, right now it looks kind of like frazzled. Again, go in with your finger, put it in water, go back into the pancake, and then just draw a line underneath your brow bone. You can do this with a Q-tip also. I just like doing it with my finger. I know I look really dumb right now, but I promise that it'll be worth it later. While we let that sort of sit, I'm going to go on to the eyes. Um, and I like to use a pencil first. I will start by kind of from the corner, up right, not all the way up at the end because you don't want your eyebrow and your the tail of your wing to touch. So right underneath it, I'll start kind of drawing like a diagonal line down all the way to the corner of my eye. So. We'll go from here, kind of close your eyes. So you get this sort of like wing shape. And we'll do the same thing with the other side. Now that I have sort of both the lines drawn, I'm gonna go with Go from the tip of the wing and go all the way down under my eye to meet this corner of my eye. So we're gonna go in a diagonal angle. So you have this nice like outline for your eyes. Same thing on this side. So you have this nice outline shape for both eyes. Now I'm just gonna fill it in with my pencil. So now I'm gonna go in with a matte liquid liner and basically go over everything that I just drew and make all the lines more defined. I'm gonna clean up the edges even more, use a Q-tip, wet the edge, go into the pancake, and just start drawing the lines. I'm gonna do my lipstick. Um, I'm gonna start with a purple liner. Sometimes people like to use black, but I feel like that's a little too harsh. So I'm gonna go in with a purple liner and just outline my lips. I kind of go a little bit above my natural shape just to give a little bit more of a pouty look. And I fill in the inside. 
And then for my bottom lip, I actually go a little bit under my natural lip, lip line because my bottom lip is a little big. So I go under, I don't go over. And now I'm gonna go in with the fuchsia colored lipstick and kind of fill in the inside. So avoid going all the way to the top, just sort of fill in the inside. I'm gonna go in with my liner again, my purple lip liner, and just sort of keep defining the edges so it all blends together. And as a final step, I go in with the brown liner that we use for our eyebrows and just draw one single line across on top. Don't try to blend this in, just draw it on top. I'm gonna take a fluffy book brush and just sort of blend everything out since we have all these like drawings on our face right now. I'm gonna put on my bindi. I'm gonna put it a little bit above where I normally would because we're gonna draw a little V with some white paint. So I go in with the white paint and like a small little to toothbrush. <laughs> but I'll go with the end, just sort of dip it in the end. And then I'll make a small dot right underneath the middle in white. So now you have like a starting point to draw the V. So I'm gonna now go in with the paint, the actual brush portion. Try to use a flat ed edge brush, it'll give you more control. And I'm just gonna draw a V. So at the edge of the V, I'm gonna give it a small tail on both sides. Now I'm actually gonna go in with that matte liquid liner. I'm gonna give it some definition by adding a small line, a black line as like an outline, just underneath the white. This is kind of optional, but if you do it, it gives it a really nice look. On the bottom, I'm gonna go in with small, Black, right, black, or right in the middle, oops. Finally, go in with mascara. I don't usually curl my lashes for this. Really the mascara, you can't really see it because it's so small. You could go in with fake lashes if you want to, but I don't really see the purpose and I think it's kind of uncomfortable too because they're so heavy and you want to do fast eye movements. But this is just to kind of get all that powder and foundation and pancake off of your lashes if it ever got on it. I never put mascara on the bottom lashes because it will smudge. Define your waterline. I have really big eyes. I have to kind of make them look a little bit smaller so I don't look scary. If you have smaller eyes, you should skip this step. I know I keep saying finally, but like, I swear I'm almost done. This is actually the last step for now. Get more powder. And this time you can just go in with a brush and then just pack some more on. Because in this process, you've definitely sweat off a lot of the makeup already and you really just have to keep layering. Don't forget about your neck. Oh, that was a lot. And this is the finished look. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions and I'll see you guys next time.